Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com and here I have the LG G3 and today I'm going to show you how to root it on a Windows computer. Um, I also have guides for Mac and Linux very soon after this video, uh, maybe within the same day uh, usually. Um, but usually, um, all three of these videos um, are all very similar since we'll just be, we're going to be using a toolkit um, to actually get this rooted since that's the easiest, fastest and you know really the best method to get it rooted um so this is the lg g3 i have the t-mobile variant but this is going to be working for the at&t t-mobile like mine all three korean variants there's three types of variants all three do work open d8 55 10ef slash g and also the european 10a variant um if you're wondering what version what variant you have what model number you have i have a link down below for the correct text uh, but if you're wondering where to find it you go into settings general go into about phone tap on software information and here you can see build number right there. So mine is D8511OC0C right there. Um, so that's my T-Mobile variant. That is how you find out if yours is the correct one. I'll have all the you know supported compatible ones linked down below. Um, but let's go ahead and get this started. So first we need to enable developer options. So go ahead and tap on build number for about eight times and it'll say you are now a developer. Go ahead and go back once and then twice now tap on developer options. Make sure it is turned on. It will be turned on by default. And check mark USB debugging right there and tap on OK. Um, that's pretty much it for what we're gonna be doing on our phone. Make sure you're back on the home screen since you're less likely to run into problems. Now go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB 2.0 and we'll go ahead and head to our Windows computer and finish this up. Um, so let me go ahead and just plug it in really quickly. Um, and also while it is plugged in, I want to show you um, just to make sure that it is it isn't the correct setting tap on media device right here and make sure it is <laughs> We'll cancel that. Um, we do not want to install it. Um, let's go ahead and try that again There we go and make sure it is set on to PTP right here um, This can give you the best uh, Likeliness that you won't won't run into a problem um, MTP and all that um, they're good for transferring files and all that, but for rooting, go ahead and change it to PTP. And let's go ahead and head down to our Windows computer and do this. Okay, so as you can see on my desktop of my Windows computer, we have two files. We have the LG G3 USB drivers, which we'll install first. And then we also have the rooting toolkit right here. Um, so just go ahead and double click on this EXE. And of course, I'll link all the files in the video description. So just go and pick it up there. Um, so we're going to go and double click on it. And of course, we're going to go ahead and click on yes for this. And it's going to go ahead and do its whole thing now. Um, so we'll obviously go and choose your uh, language. Click on next. It's going to go do its whole thing again. Let me go and zoom out just a little bit. And we're going to go and click on uh, next now. Uh, it's going to go and do the whole setup again. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, as you can see, it says LG United Mobile Driver installed successfully. So that's good now. Um, now we're going to go ahead and open up Device Manager. So in your little Start um, key menu in the bottom left-hand corner, um, if you're on Windows 8, go ahead and go to your little Start screen and search Device Manager. So Device Manager, and I'll have written directions linked down below as well, just in case. Um, and here you go. Um, so we have um, it right here. So Device Manager, um, as you can see, we have ADB interface. So that should already be showing up, so that's a good sign. And also right here. So right here it says Android Net Sooner Single ADB Interface. So after you install the LG drivers, it should say it should actually say exactly like this. Um, if it didn't, restart your computer, check it again, and you should be good to go. And as always, make sure you're on PTP and you're plugged in to a USB 2.0 port as well. Um, those are some troubleshooting tips um, on the fly. <laughs> um, so we don't need this one anymore, so we're good to go on that. And now we have this little folder right here. Let me go and zoom in just a little bit. Um, so it is called purple, Dur Pur <laughs> purple drake light zip. We'll go ahead and right click on it and click on extract all. And we'll go ahead and extract it to our desktop since that's where everything is located. And it's going to extract it and automatically open this folder right here. I'm sorry if it's a little bit too dark. I um, really can't do anything about that. Um, yeah, no, I really can't. <laughs> um, so here is the extracted folder. Here is purple Drake light. Go ahead and double click on it. And here are all the contents, everything that you need. 
Um, and since we're on Windows and we're doing this on Windows, we're going to be uh, choosing the bottom one. Don't choose the dot underscore, choose the bottom one. Uh, purple Drake underscore Windows dot BAT, it's just like here. Um, and it's going to do its whole thing now. Um, so you can actually read all these directions. We actually already did all this uh, previously. Um, so we can go ahead and do this right here. So it says, please ensure your phone's connected, powered on, USB debugging is proper enabled, yada, yada, yada. Um, it also says, make sure you're on your home screen. Um, so here's my phone. Make sure it's unlocked and on the home screen and keep an eye on your phone as you, uh, you know, might need to keep an eye on it and accept some things on your phone. Um, so now it says, when you're good to go, press enter. So of course, we're going to be pressing enter. So let me go and move this a little bit here so you can see both at the same time. We're going to press enter. It says waiting for device and automatically look at that. It says allow USB debugging. We're going to tap on OK. OK, we're good to go on our phone now and we don't want Google now. So now it says waiting for device again. Um, let's see if it works or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and close it. Let's go and close it and open it again. And we'll try it again. That could have been the problem. And we'll tap on enter. And there we go. So now it's doing this whole thing. Um, it says your phone is LG um, D851, a T-Mobile right there, running on uh, whatever version that is. It really doesn't matter. Um, it says, all right, we're ready to go. We're, uh, we're going to temp root your phone first. Please enter when you're ready. Um, and make sure your phone is on, like I said earlier. Um, so we're going to press enter to continue. And it's rebooting our phone now. It says waiting for device. So good a few seconds to boot into, I believe, recovery mode, if I'm right. Okay, so it says waiting for a system to settle. Okay, so it says, however, if you like to continue, if you like permanent, let's continue. Um, so now it has temp root right now, but if you want permanent root, since yes, we obviously want it to always stay rooted, we're gonna go ahead and tap on enter, and it's gonna go apply perma root, so we'll always be rooted on our LG G3. Okay, so it says waiting for system to settle. Checking if worked, um, perma, perma root worked. We're all good to go. It says, please be careful with what you change. We're going to press enter to continue and it should reboot our phone automatically and we're done. So literally within five minutes, less than five minutes, we are up and good to go. So I'll let it boot up first, then I'll show you around and show you that we are actually rooted. Okay, now you can go ahead and unplug your LG G3. Since we're done with the computer, we're done with rooting, and we're actually already rooted. Uh, but now we have to go ahead and install Super SC or anything like that. Let me go ahead and enter, uh, actually turn on my data since that's easier. And we'll go to the Play Store and install Super SU. So we'll turn that on, turn on my data. And now let's go ahead and head to the Play Store. We'll go ahead and search Super SU um, right here, Super SU right here and I also have a link down below so you get the correct uh, application. Uh, we'll go ahead and install it, accept it. So just give it a few seconds. Okay, now go ahead and tap on open. And we're gonna go ahead and tap on continue. So since it needs to be updated and we'll do normal, since we don't have twerp slash clock on recovery installed, we'll do normal, which will just get the job done just as great. It says installation uh, success. We're done now um, and we're good. Now we have Super SU. And now to show you that we are actually rooted, I'll install an application like Titanium Backup and actually show you that I am actually rooted. Okay, I'll go ahead and tap on open and I should get it in just a quick sec. Yep, there we go. So Super User Request Titanium Backup. We'll go ahead and tap on Grant and then it'll go ahead and give me the check marks, the green light um, in just a quick sec. There we go. Um, so we'll tap on OK. OK, there we go. So it says root access. We have a check mark. OK, um, so we're good to go. That is how you root your LG G3 Korean models, AT&T, T-Mobile, and European models, and also open variants. Like I said earlier, earlier, I'll link it down below for the specific models so you know if your LG G3 variant is compatible, and also all the files, and a written step-by-step -step guide will also be linked down below just in case if you're not a video person, you really can't hear a video, whatever, that will be linked down below for a more in-depth and detailed step-by-step -step guide. If you guys did enjoy this rooting procedure for the LG G3, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. I do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which will be linked down below as well. Until next time, peace.